what we're talking about with respect to nature is a pervasive secular risk is probably even the wrong word. It's, it's a phenomenon that affects um, all of us on the planet and addressing the loss of ecosystems um, really is as critical and imperative as addressing climate. And you know, as, as you said, Ko, you can't solve one without the other. So it really affects all of us. And for a retailer like Walmart, we derive um, really the bulk of our sales from products that ultimately originate in nature. So they go back to a forest, a grassland, an ocean, you know, especially our food products, but even commodities like cotton. Um, so there is relevance to our assortment and the surety of supply of future commodities and products. And then of course, tremendous relevance to our customer communities around the world, our, our um, associate communities and so on. And so, um, you know, what started to happen, uh, as Ian has said, is the business community has woken up and taken notice of this. And really, I'd say kind of three, four years ago, um, we started to look at it and consider how could we engage our own suppliers in actions that can uh, better manage commodity production in critical landscapes, and then also conserve and play a role in restoration. And that's really, you asked about what is nature positive, that's really what, what it means. Um, it's recognizing we need to restore aspects that have been degraded as well as conserve and better manage uh, production. So, you know, for us, um, we took a look at our assortment and just grossly estimated, what, you know, where is it coming from to resource ecosystems and set out goals for our suppliers to engage and for us to engage with them through business and through philanthropy to protect, uh, restore, and better manage 50 million acres of land and a million square miles of ocean, which represents the volume um, that it takes uh, to supply the, the food and other products that our customers enjoy around the world. And you know, we see our role as being able to take something that is a, a global aspiration around climate or nature and connect it into very practical actions that businesses can take to adjust uh, our methods of production, our operating models, in concert with civil society, in concert with governments, local communities, and so on, to rewire the methods of production um, and the way products get produced and even how they get consumed to achieve the goals that we need to achieve collectively as a society for decarbonizing supply chains, for example, restoring nature, uh, but also do it in a way that supports livelihoods of producers and still provides affordable products to, to consumers. That's really how we've come at it. 